first, it has definitely been a year with a difference, and for some, they felt particularly alone. Figures from the ONS show the week after the clocks went back, Britain saw its, its highest levels of loneliness since the pandemic began. One in four adults said that they were lonely. So we've been gathering your stories and hear how you're fighting back. Well, I'm June Valerie Fengel, and I'm 80 years old. When they closed the pub, that was our only little escape twice a week, just to get with human beings that twice a week was better than nothing, you know? Parts of me have become scared that weren't before, that I suddenly find myself getting all nervous and shaking, and I don't know why I'm like it. Oh, my husband is just everything for me. I often think if Den's shopping, what if he can't come back? I I'll be stuck there <laughs> in the house. And it sounds selfish and awful, but it's true. My name is Effie Hassan. I'm the Getting On Project Supervisor at Age Concern Luton. We've called with the help of volunteers, nearly 3,000 older people um, since the lockdown started. And um, we've made actually 20,000 calls. I saw this the other day, 20,000 calls to people that really need it. Um, and the, the telephone befriending as well. So volunteers who are calling older people, that is critical to what we do. We've seen a lot of people pass away, unfortunately, and not all of them are directly COVID related, but I can tell um, when somebody becomes more and more frail because they don't have anything to look forward to, it can be easy to just give up because of loneliness. Uh, I'm Jill Smith and I have been volunteering with Age Concerns since the first lockdown. I have been making befriending phone calls um, I've been regularly speaking to three lovely ladies every week. They're lovely to talk to and they appreciate my phone calls, I'm sure. Sometimes perhaps I'm the only person they've spoken to that day. I actually lost my husband in January this year. Obviously I miss him, but I know he wouldn't want me to be miserable and he'd, I'm sure, like to know that I was carrying on as normally as possible and that I could do something to help in a small way.